Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. Hey, hi, I'm Laura. I'm gonna watch The Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 2. I just watched the Episode 1. If you want to see my reaction video about that, I'm gonna put the link into the eye. I'm binge watching The Mandalorian, you know, the two first seasons, which are already out. I didn't search for any information, anything about it, so please be careful on your comments with spoilers. If you want to have real reactions, you know, about big stuff which are gonna happen during this season too, please don't tell me any spoilers. Warning, before beginning, it's really windy today, so maybe it's gonna be disturbing for the noise. I already filmed a lot today because I'm not gonna have the time during this week to film more, so I need to rush a little things. At least I'm gonna rush a little this intro because if I want to end, you know, this video with natural light, I need to hurry a little. Because today, you know, I watched three episodes of Avatar and already one episode of The Mandalorian, the first one which was long. I was surprised by it, you know, after the season one when we have little episodes, 30 or max, I think that we had 40 minutes episodes. The first episode of this season 2, I think that it was a 50 minute episode. That was long. But that was great, I really enjoyed it. We're back, we're back with The Mandalorian. I mean, we're back. I did not have any break between the two seasons, but I recognized everything that they wanted to create with the episode 1 of the season 1. That was really fun to get back to this western mood, this western environment. First scene of the first episode of the first season, I was like, okay, that's gonna be a western into the Star Wars universe. And little by little with the episodes, we lost that atmosphere, you know, that mood. And right there, to get back to it with the episode 1 of the season 2, that was fun. Everything was made for that, you know, the saloon moment with the false Mandalorian, this, this moment, you know, eyes to eyes, and on the guns and all, all was created for making us think that it was like a western, that was great. And we were back with the rhythm of one episode, one story which is beginning and ending into the same episode, new characters to who we are saying hello and goodbye into the same episode. We had that for the episode one. The story about this village who united forces, you know, with the sand people to fight against the dragon. That was great. That was, you know, an exciting moment. That was interesting scenes. That was an interesting fight. That was, that was great. But we're not keeping a lot, you know, from that first episode. If it's not the fact that for now Mando is not searching for Baby Yoda's people, but is searching for other Mandalorians to who is gonna ask for some help to have he set some covens, you know, all around space, other places, you know, to be safe. That's what I understood. And then he's gonna search for Baby Yoda's people. And we saw also that man at the end of the last episode. I think with the music and how it was filmed that is gonna be one enemy. I thought about the last time that we were on Tatooine and that person who found the mercenaries, so maybe it's the same guy. I'm thinking of something like that. And because of the fact that we didn't see Mando and Baby Yoda leaving Tatooine, maybe we're gonna continue with that, you know, for the episode two, we're gonna continue that story. That would be interesting. But yes, we're back with the Mandalorian, with the big musics. We know how much they are important in Star Wars franchise, you know, all of the different movies. We can sing so many songs, so many musics of these Star Wars movies because we know them by heart. They are so connected with the story, with the name of Star Wars. It's logical also to have big important musics in the show. And that's great, they are well done. They are not pushing them out like during the first episodes of the season one. 
now they are dealing with them better in my opinion i love that and they changed the little mando sim you know the music they added stuff into it and that's great i loved it like i said during my review of the first episode i have the impression that we are seeing more baby yodas on screen that's logical because of the fact that now mando learned during the first season that he can't leave baby yoda alone he has to keep him with him all of the time you know so that's logical that we have more of baby yoda on screen and they are zooming more also on the character maybe because he has an expressive face and maybe also because between the seasons the writers and the producers learned that the viewers are in love with this character they want to see him and that it's a big thing to add to your show. <laughs> That's my thought, you know. All of these reasons, you know, not just the last one, I think that we are seeing maybe Yoda more because of all of these reasons. But that's great, I'm not against it. I'm like everyone, you know, you saw it during the season one and during this episode one of the season two. I... I saw the cuteness of this character and I'm like everyone, I'm like, oh, each time that he's doing something cute, so I'm all for it. But it's not because I'm all for it that I'm not, you know, thinking about the reasons why we have him more on screen. Okay, I think that I'm gonna stop right there with this intro, which is already too long. Because I want to finish this episode with natural light and I don't know if it's gonna be a long one like the first episode or not so I need to stop talking and let's go for this episode 2 Such a cartoon trap <laughs> They know about the kid People are still searching for him back <laughs> I'm sorry but the music like that this landscape we are continuing with the western mood they <laughs> for sure you like meat Hello? Excuse me. Danger eggs fertilized by the equinox or the line will end. If you jump into hyperspace, they'll die. Do you understand that it's eggs? If you say so. <laughs> Do you know that it's eggs? Don't eat these eggs. Come on, it's made to be cute. No, 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 no. I said don't eat. Oh no, you're grounded. You don't know what the force is, but you're still seeing that. Ah, fuck. They need to talk about what they just heard or your ping. Not good at all. Ah. Guys, they are just making their jobs, you know. I, I don't want you 
damaged oh that's bad we're not gonna let the razor crest behind stop eating them how many yes that's not a good answer Okay, she's not mad. That's great. Oh, uh, yes. Oh no, it was about if it was warm enough. It's a druid? Zero? She's right. Are you gonna disappoint them? You can't repair that. We're gonna abandon that ship. Was it trying to show you something? I think that she's losing up, you know, she's trying everything that she can. That's a real maze, you know? It's warm water for your kids. Don't eat! What about all of this? It's eggs also. A lot of eggs, which means a lot of creatures. Don't, 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 don't. Ah, oh, stop eating everything. I'm not sure that the mother of this kid is going to be happy about what you just did. to run all of this kind of spiders of course it's gonna make all of the viewers uncomfortable you know disgust uh, girl out of the bus now yep and here comes the parents Ooh! and the big mama All of this maze, it's her maze. Um, going to the ship, it's not gonna be enough. Don't die. You know, Mondo has her eggs, so I'm afraid for her to die now. Enough. It was enough for the big mama. Now they are inside also. You're gonna lock yourself. She 
here. You're gonna stop eating your kids. Close the doors. Yes. They're gonna attack the windows, no? Big Daddy <laughs> oh. Uh -uh. oh, all of this You guys were chasing you I said that there were good guys I said it They just saved you You have an arrest warrant the abduction of prisoner X6911. Onboard security records show that you apprehended three priority culprits from the wanted register. Put your own life in harm's way to try to protect that of Lieutenant Gavin from the New Republic Correctional Corps. If I under arrest... No. You should be. Say I fuck with the bounties on these three criminals. Oh, I'm gonna like you guys. Once you fix that transponder, if we don't vaporize that antique the next time we control the ring. Thank you. We have a lot of work to do if we want to fly with this ship. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Sweet dreams. Nah, you're not gonna eat them anymore. Oh ah. That's it? Uh -huh. I'm surprised. For once we don't have one story beginning and ending in just one episode. We are keeping characters with us. I mean, these two pilots, of course, we were not gonna keep them, but that lady, I don't know how to name her. We are keeping her. Maybe, you know, at the end of the last episode, I was like, they didn't leave Tatooine, so... So at the beginning of this episode two, we're gonna be still on Tatooine, and one story is gonna happen there, maybe with the guy that we saw at the end of the episode one. I was wrong, it was not with that guy, but still we had the beginning of a story still on Tatooine and when with the season 1 between episodes we had little time jumps, you know, or just we were jumping on another story, jumping on another thing, right there between episode 1 and episode 2 we continued, you know, the story, we didn't have any break, any time jump, anything. So right there, I think that we can expect the same for the episode 3 because we didn't resolve the situation, we didn't get back this lady to her husband with all of these eggs. We have the Razor Crest in such a bad shape. <laughs> we need to repair it. We have a lot of things to resolve which were created during this episode and that we have to resolve. Maybe during this season, you know, they are improving what they did during the season one. They are still creating one story for one episode and right there the story was taking that lady and landing by mistake on that planet and leaving adventures on that planet. Like during the episode one, it was this fight between the village and the sand people and the two of them fighting against a common enemy, the dragon. We have one episode, one story, but we are following more a long story, you know, for the season. One narrative arc for the season. It was already the case during the season one, but it was less visible, you know, because of the breaks, because of the time jump, because of characters that we were not keeping, that we were having only for one episode. Right now, the lady, I think that we're gonna have her for more than one episode. The repair woman, we are seeing her again, like we saw her during the season one. Maybe, you know, they worked on that. We have some characters for more than one episode. 
and to have okay one story, one event, something created and ended during one episode, but still one story following, you know. It seems more like a book. You understand what I mean? Like in one chapter something is happening but you are continuing the story. And then during the season one, which felt really like old shows, like I described it during the season one, like we were not progressing a lot for the main story during one episode and in fact we were just living adventures. I prefer that way because they are mixing the two things together. About that story, you know, I'm really worried for the Razor Crest. Can we keep that ship? Uh, um, <laughs> I don't have a lot of hope for that ship, you know, I can't see a way to repair it fully. I mean, Mando doesn't have a lot of money, you know, I was gonna say gold, but that's not a good word. He doesn't have a lot of money and all to repair that ship. I can't see it happening. I think that we're gonna have a new one. I hope that we're gonna help that lady because she was a great character, a funny one for sure, but also a great one. Her story is nice and I love the fact that we are already creating a story around her, around her eggs and all. Like in some movies, in some Star Wars movies, sometimes some of the creatures that we had during these movies were not used enough. I mean, they were really used for sure, but they were not explored by the writers enough. Like, we were not seeing a lot of their characters, how they were acting, reacting, and all. They didn't have personalities, really, and backgrounds and stories which were interesting right there. We have a background and we have also a personality because of what she made with Zero, with the droid and how she talked after that to Mando. I appreciated it. Mando and Baby Yoda, I love their relationship really. They are really insisting for this season 2, for the beginning of this season 2 on the fact that now they are going together no matter what, they are not leaving each other not even a minute. It's more than that, you know, it's really a father and son relationship like Yoda sleeping like that on Mando that was not just cute but it's showing also the affection, you know, the feelings that they have for each other that was really sweet. These two pilots, of course I appreciate them, of course, not just because of the fact that they saved Mando right there, they saved the day but also because of why they did that, you know, that code of honor in the way. And they were just doing their jobs, so that's why I didn't want Mando at first, you know, when they were chasing each other to kill this man. And I think that the writers and I, we are on the same page right there. I mean, we all love them, even if we don't know them as characters, you know, because of their roles, their jobs, and because of all of the movies that we watched, of course we love them and we don't want Mando to hurt them. I was interested, you know, I was intrigued by one of them telling that it's troubled times, you know. In these troubled times, you never know. He said something like that. I mean, the Empire is gone, but we still have Empire men. We saw that, you know, with Baby Yoda and all trying to do stuff trying to get back control and all. What he said right there, I want to know more about that. I want to, to see more of that. Maybe little by little we're gonna go with that. I mean, Mando is gonna be more and more involved in the big history, you know. Right there he's just living his history with Baby Yoda, just focused on his mission, but maybe little by little that's gonna grow. That would be interesting because again, like I explained, I think it was in the intro of the episode one of this season two. What I love about the Mandalorian is the fact that it's talking about the little people who are living their own lives, you know, their own story, who are living the consequences of the war, who are impacted by it and now are trying to have a normal life again. 
but also about the little people who are just living their lives and at first Mondo was like that, you know, he was just trying to be a bounty hunter and that's all and Baby Yoda disturbed that life and that would be interesting to have Mondo being involved in the story more and more like he's not a little people because he's a Mandalorian and they all know who are Mandalorians and the fact that they are great fighters but you've got what I meant by that, you know, someone who was just living his own life being involved in something bigger. Because of Baby Yoda, I think that it can happen. Oh! May the Force be with you! He said it! So he knows what the Force is. No? Or is it just something that they are saying just like that? Like, be safe? <laughs> It disturbed me also. Okay, so it's all for you and for me for today for the Mandalorian. And it's all for me for now, so bye for now. Bye. Wait a minute. Why am I dark? Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Great.